In the dim glow of his computer screen, Alex sat back in his chair with a soft sigh, the clack of his keyboard punctuating the quiet of his room. It was nearing midnight, and the draft of his term paper on ancient mythologies was finally taking shape, albeit slowly. Buried beneath a mountain of texts and papers on his desk was a peculiar reference to a nearly forgotten deity, Althea, the goddess of whispers and secrets. According to legend, she thrived on the secrets and silent prayers of her followers long before the rise of modern faiths. On a whim, fueled by exhaustion and his fourth cup of coffee, Alex typed out a playful offering at the bottom of his paper. Oh, great Althea, should you find this humble servant worthy? Accept my offering of secrets untold and whispers yet spoken. He chuckled to himself, amused by his own delirium-induced creativity, and hit save. The air in the room shifted. The computer flickered, a brief surge that made Alex frown and glance around, half expecting his outdated setup to finally give out. But it wasn't the electronics that altered next. It was the very atmosphere as a subtle chill crept over his skin. Before he could rationalize the drop in temperature, a shimmering light materialized in the center of his cluttered room. From the radiant glow stepped a figure, draped in a cloak that seemed woven from shadows and moonlight. Her eyes, a piercing silver, locked onto Alex's wide ones. She was both terrifying and mesmerizing, an ethereal beauty with an aura of power that filled the room. Alexander, you have called me forth, she said, her voice a melodious sound that seemed to echo off the walls. And so, I am here to serve you, my first worshiper in centuries. Alex stumbled back against his desk, papers flying. This, this can't be real, he stammered, staring at the apparition before him. Althea stepped closer, her form becoming more defined, less ethereal and more human. Yet it is, by your own design. As the initial shock waned, Alex's academic curiosity overpowered his fear. You're really Althea, the goddess of whispers? He asked, his voice a mix of awe and disbelief. Yes, she replied with a slight nod. And you, Alexander, have awakened me with your invocation. It has been centuries since any soul uttered my name with such genuine intent. But I... I was just writing a paper. It was a joke, Alex confessed, his eyes still locked on the supernatural being in his room. Althea smiled, a gesture that softened her otherworldly features. Whether jest or earnest, the call was made, and here I am. Now tell me, what do you desire? I am bound to assist you, to thank you for remembering me. Alex's mind raced. He had an ancient goddess at his disposal. What should he ask for? Wealth? Knowledge? Power? Instead, what came out was, I want to understand the secrets of the universe, the real truths behind everything. Althea's eyes gleamed. A lofty request? but fitting for a seeker of knowledge. Your journey will require more than mere answers. It will test your courage, your integrity, and your very spirit. Are you prepared for such a quest? I am, Alex replied, more confidently than he felt. Very well, Althea said, extending her hand. Let us begin. Althea led Alex through a series of whispers, each a secret from different corners of the world and times long past. With each secret, Alex felt his understanding of the world deepen, but so too did the weight of these truths press upon him. Their sessions became nightly rituals, where Althea would share tales of ancient civilizations, forgotten wars, and hidden lore that shaped the modern world in ways no history book could capture. But with knowledge came isolation, as Alex found it increasingly difficult to connect with his peers, who were oblivious to the profound secrets he now carried. As weeks turned into months, Alex noticed a change in Althea, too. 
The goddess seemed less a figure of power and more a companion, equally enthralled by their exchanges. Her frequent visits were no longer just instructional, but personal, and a bond formed between deity and mortal. One evening, as a storm raged outside, Althea appeared in Alex's room with a troubled expression. There is a price to the knowledge you seek, she began, her voice tense. A force has noticed our exchanges, one that covets what you've learned. Alex felt a chill run down his spine. What kind of force? A forgotten god, a rival from my realm, who seeks to return to power by any means necessary. Your quest for knowledge has inadvertently strengthened him, Althea explained, her face etched with worry. What do we do? Alex asked, his throat dry. We must confront this entity. It's the only way to ensure your safety and to protect the secrets you now hold, she declared. The prospect terrified Alex, but he knew there was no turning back. He had delved too deep to simply walk away. Together, Alex and Althea prepared for the inevitable encounter. Althea taught Alex ancient spells and protective wards, equipping him with mystical knowledge to face the god. When the night of the confrontation arrived, the air was thick with electric tension. The forgotten god revealed himself as a towering figure shrouded in darkness, his presence suffocating. The battle was fierce, with Alex using every bit of mystical knowledge Althea had taught him. The room shook with the force of their spells, books and papers swirling around as collateral in their magical duel. Finally, with a powerful chant from Althea and a decisive spell from Alex, the Dark God was subdued, forced back into the shadows from whence he came. In the aftermath, as dawn broke over the horizon, Althea turned to Alex. You have done well, Alexander. Not only have you protected the knowledge, but you have also proven yourself a true guardian of secrets. Alex looked at Althea, realizing how much he had changed. What happens now? He asked. Now, you continue your journey, Althea said, smiling. With the wisdom you've gained and the trials you've faced, you are no longer just a student of mysteries, you are a keeper of them. As Althea faded into the morning light, Alex felt a sense of purpose swell within him. He was no longer just a college student, he was a protector of profound truths ready to face whatever challenges might come with his newfound role. And thus, the room quieted, the secrets of the universe tucked away in the heart of a young man who had dared to call upon a goddess and who had been answered. Several months had passed since the confrontation with the forgotten god, and Alex's life had settled into a new, albeit strange, rhythm. His studies at the university continued, but they were now interwoven with his secret role as a keeper of secrets. Alex discovered that his ability to understand and manipulate hidden truths gave him insights into people's intentions, historical enigmas, and even future probabilities. Yet he remained cautious, knowing the potential dangers his powers could attract. One evening, as Alex walked home from a late lecture, a shadow detached itself from the alley beside him. Alexander, the figure called out, his voice a rough whisper. Alex tensed, preparing for another supernatural challenge. But as the figure stepped into the light, he saw not a god or a monster, but a man, albeit one with an intense gaze that seemed to pierce right through him. I am Matthias, the man introduced himself. I have been watching you, Keeper. You are not the only one with such a unique role. Alex's interest peaked. You're a Keeper too? He asked, his voice laced with a mix of skepticism and curiosity. Matthias nodded. In a manner of speaking, I was once like you, chosen by another from the Pantheon, tasked with safeguarding ancient truths. But my path has led me here, to you. Why? Alex asked, his grip tightening on his backpack. The knowledge you hold is not meant for one alone. It's becoming unstable, too vast. It needs a nexus, a confluence where it can be managed and protected. 
Matthias explained, his eyes scanning the street as if expecting eavesdroppers. And you want to help me with that? Alex was wary of trusting this stranger, but he couldn't deny the allure of understanding more about his role and its implications. Yes, Matthias confirmed, but we must act quickly. There are others who seek to exploit the knowledge you guard. Matthias led Alex to an ancient library in the heart of the city, hidden from the prying eyes of the public. Inside, they met two others like them. One was an elderly woman named Elara, a keeper of histories, whose role was to protect the truth of historical events from being rewritten. The other was a young woman named Sia, a keeper of voices, who preserved the rights of the lost and forgotten. Together, they explained to Alex that the balance of their powers was essential in maintaining the stability of the world's hidden truths. Each keeper had a part to play, and each was crucial in preventing the resurgence of the dark god Alex had once faced. Alex listened, absorbing every word. The sense of isolation he had felt began to dissipate, replaced by a burgeoning sense of belonging. Here among these keepers was a new kind of family. As their meeting continued, Matthias revealed their next step, to create a nexus, a safe haven that would not only protect their accumulated knowledge, but also serve as a training ground for potential future keepers. Alex, with his unique connection to Althea, was pivotal in this plan. The creation of the Nexus required a ritual, one that needed the combined efforts of all present keepers. They gathered in a circle, each chanting in a forgotten tongue as Alex placed his hands on an ancient artifact, an orb that Matthias had safeguarded for decades. Energy surged through the room, the orb glowing brightly, and then everything went silent. Before them now stood a portal to the Nexus, a place out of time that was both nowhere and everywhere, accessible only to those who were chosen. In the weeks that followed, Alex and his fellow keepers worked tirelessly to strengthen the Nexus, drawing on their diverse powers to create a space that was both secure and enlightening. Alex felt his abilities growing, sharpened by the knowledge and experience of his peers. However, peace was short-lived, Rumors of their activities had spread, and dark forces, remnants of the Forgotten God's followers, began to converge on their location. The Keepers found themselves not just guardians of ancient secrets, but warriors in a shadowy war against those who sought to unleash chaos. One night, as a storm raged outside, the Nexus came under attack. Shadowy figures breached the defenses, forcing Alex and the others into a fierce battle. Using their combined knowledge and powers, they fought back, defending the heart of the Nexus. During the battle, Alex faced a moment of doubt. Could he really protect this vast knowledge? As if in response, he felt a familiar presence. Althea appeared beside him, her strength lending him the courage he needed. Together, they pushed the darkness back, sealing the breach. In the aftermath of the attack, the Keepers realized their work was far from over. The world was full of forgotten gods and hidden truths that required their vigilance. Alex, now fully embracing his role as a Keeper, knew his life had changed forever. He was no longer just a scholar, but a guardian of secrets that shaped the reality of the world itself. As dawn broke over the Nexus, Alex stood with his fellow keepers, united in purpose and stronger than ever. They were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, guardians not just of knowledge, but of the very fabric of history. Now, let me know your opinion about the story down in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next story.